These are questions that Ethan wrote so that he could find out a little bit from you about World War II from your perspective. We start at, what was the year that you found out that we had gone to war? December 7th, 1941. Were you, I want to know where you were when you heard the news and how did you find out? I was, I had just gotten home from a ride on Sunday, December 7th, and I turned on the radio and I immediately heard the news about the Japanese bombing of Pearl Harbor in Hawaii. <clears throat> That's when things started. I did not enlist, I was drafted, and I was 26 years old, almost 27. How long was that after the war had started? About a year and a month. When did you realize that you were really going to miss your family? Long before I was drafted, I thought about it because I knew it was coming. What did you miss? What did you miss most um, when, when you left home? I missed my family, my wife, and, uh, and my home and my job. And, and, so, uh... First I went to, uh... A uh, place where I was processed in Fort Niagara, New York. I was there for about three days or so, getting tested for various things. Then I went south to Camp Sutton, North Carolina, on a troop train with about 250 other men. And I was there, and at one other camp, two other camps, Camp Tocoa, Georgia, and Camp Gordon, Georgia, for the first year, and the day after Christmas, I got on a troop train and left across the United States for the Pacific Coast, where I, after a short time, I boarded a ship with the rest of my company and sailed across the Pacific to the Solomon Islands. Where are the Solomon Islands? Solomon Islands are uh, north of New Guinea and uh, Australia. What, okay, so, um, Ethan has a question, it says, what, what was the weather like there? It was... Hot, humid, tropical weather where it rained every morning. <clears throat> and it was hard to stay dry, and my, uh, the leather parts of my goods, like my billfold, would turn green with mold. <clears throat> and it was hard for me to stay dry. Uh, I developed a skin condition, which men, most of the men developed. They called it jungle rot, but it wasn't. It was <laughs> just caused by the human weather, and I was advised by the doctor not to wear underwear so that my, my body could be ventilated better, and that did the trick. I It went away. Okay. Ethan also wanted to know, we hear a lot about the war. Was there any fun? Did you have any fun when you were, when you were stationed? I wouldn't call it fun, but I would call it diversion. At night, when we were able to, when we had the facilities, we were able to play cards, mostly hearts and pinochle. And I found three men who would be willing to play bridge with me, so I was able to do that. Then every, about every three months or so, we would have a, a traveling USO show come overseas and uh, entertain us. Uh, in a large place where we would get a lot of men together. We only were able to do this where there was no fighting, when we were in quiet places. Was that the USO that came to entertain? But mostly the USO, and, and they had a lot of famous people, famous actors and entertainers of the day would come. Who were some of them? Who were some of the famous ones then? Uh, Bob Hope. 
Francis Langford, Jerry Colonna, uh, Jack Benny, uh, and we had a production of the uh, show Oklahoma one night, which was very impressive. Wow. And uh, two or three other. We had local U USO <coughs> shows from soldiers who uh, were in special entertainment units also. Very talented uh, soldiers were able to entertain us. <clears throat> what, uh, when, when you were there, um, what food did you... This is another question from Ethan. What food did you miss most of all? I missed uh, fresh foods. I missed the fruit, eggs, and uh, meat, and milk. <clears throat> I did not have any milk at all. Well, I was overseas for two years. The only milk that was available was powdered milk, and it didn't taste good. It tasted terrible. Powdered eggs also tasted bad. But once in a great while, there would be fresh eggs available for us. So when these were shipped in from Australia <clears throat> by plane. And... Once, after a while, we were able to get, very rarely, but we were able to get fresh meat also. But we never got any fresh fruit. We ate a lot of canned goods and canned juices and things like that. Yeah. How did you keep in touch? How did you keep in touch with Mom, uh, you know, and with uh, the family? In, in chiefly by mail. Uh, How often did you get letters? I got letters several times a week. Uh, Denise would write to me almost every day, and I would write to her almost every day. At first, we used a thing they called email, little on small pages that were transmitted by something. I don't know what, but then... Then we started using air mail when air travel became common. <clears throat> C-47s, which were later DC-3s, two motored transports, were used, there were thousands of them in use going across the ocean both ways, and they would deliver our mail, and uh, sometimes some of the fellows got packages for Christmas. <clears throat> Did you ever get any pictures in the mail? Got a few. Your mother, uh, Denise, my wife, sent me pictures of Barbara when she was a baby that were taken by a friend and developed by a friend. Uh, so I kept track of Barbara's progress as she went through her infancy and her first two years of life. There's a, there's a picture of you right behind you. Let me see if I can get it. That sh what's what was your rank? What was your I rank? I started out as a private, became a corporal when I was company clerk. Then I was promoted to sergeant. Then I was promoted to staff sergeant as as the supply sergeant of my company. I stayed at that rank for most of the war overseas. In August of 1945, when the war was about to end, I was transferred to uh, battalion headquarters and was promoted to master sergeant. I was what they call the battalion sergeant major. And that was my rank when I was discharged. So I have a question about the uh, some of these patches and medals that I see on the painting. Stripes and a red and white circle on my... I was the 8th Army insignia. What were the ribbons? And the ribbons were the Philippine Liberation Medal, the Japanese Occupation Medal, the uh, uh, Victory Medal, the Asiatic Pacific Medal with three battle stars, and the American Theater Medal, and the Good Conduct Medal. There are six of them. 